Yo, on some on some really like spontaneous ish. I just cop some some tickets to this uh this show. Y'all gonna see who it is in a second once I get there. But cop some tickets. Them joints was five hundred dollars for four seats. That's that's the cheapest they had that was left. They put them on sale like two days ago. Everything was sold out like that. Like I didn't see my email because I get a Live Nation email. I didn't see my email for like three hours later. So then everything was sold out to the floor. And I'm like, should I do it? And I was like, whatever. We ball. You know what I'm saying? So I got dressed real quick. I'm headed over there. We can't record in there, but I'm going to find a way to make it interesting. I don't know how. Of course, there's traffic as soon as I'm about to get here. It's like 15 minutes till it's supposed to start. Like, of course, it's going to be late, but it's only... It's only when you're running late when, uh, when it happens. It just fucks everything up. But I ain't worried. Maybe, hopefully, there's an opener. I don't know who it will be, but hopefully. Should have left earlier. <laughs> they said the garage is full. Finally found a garage to park in. Now I'm about to see if I could take this lime scooter to the joint. Got to let out. I'm trying to get some food right now. I'll give y'all a recap if I can remember. You know what I'm saying? But we, we here with it. I, I want to get active because I'm fresh, but at the same time, I'm not really built for it no more. We'll see. I really just be out here. Let me take this damn mask off. I really just be out here just vibing by myself, man, just on, on moves, on missions, you know, not not all the time can people just link with you, you know what I'm saying, you just gotta say, come and just do what you wanna do, you know what I'm saying, just out here, got the, the pink velvet on right now, like, just out here, for real. together threw the fit together then i was like oh let me get a pick because i don't be getting picks like that let me get a pick took like 10 minutes to get a pick like i gotta i gotta coach my sister to get the right pick or whatever do that i leave out and so um i get there so the concert is at at the anthem which is at the wharf and then the wharf is like traffic literally like the street right where the wharf is on, um, I forgot what it's called, I think Main Avenue. As soon as you get there, it's traffic. It's like all this for the concert. And then as I'm actually pulling on the street, right, it's blocked off. Like the regular garages and stuff would all say full. Like I think it was BS, but they just ain't put a park there or whatever. So I like drive around, find a spot, find a spot, maybe like a 15, 10, 15, probably 15 minutes and walk away. But coming there, I uh, I found a little scooter. So I just rode the scooter, cut my time in half. So it was maybe like seven minutes. Scootered over there. I mean, line, mind you, the line literally like, I mean, you see it, but the line wrapped around. I was in that line at least 45 minutes, maybe an hour. When you get to the front, you show them your ticket or whatever, and then they they write on the little sticky note your seat number. So then once you scan in, they actually, they make you put your phone, and they even make me put my Apple Watch, excuse me, 
in this little pouch. And the pouch has to be unlocked by a special tune or whatever. And that's so you can't record, I guess, no phone interruption, all that stuff. And man, I was trying, I wanted to finesse. I wanted to hope they ain't peep the Apple Watch. I was gonna try to get a voice memo or something so I could be like, yeah, I got some exclusive content right here. But it was on my ass, so. So it is what it is. I just got to regurgitate everything that happened through my mind. But so they did that. I'm not going to lie, though. Like, I was I was playing with the little pouch. Like, the sh I felt like I could have ripped that shit open if I wanted to. But I don't want to be that guy. But so, you know, I got, got a drink. And then it's already dark. And mind you, I got there. When I actually pulled up to get in line, it was maybe like... Damn, so maybe I wasn't live for a while. It was probably like 8, close to 8.45. I didn't get in the joint till 9.45. I had to go to the bathroom. I waited to get a drink. Dave Chappelle had already got on around like 10.15. I was still in line. So like he cracked a couple jokes, you know, the warm-up jokes. But I kind of missed them because I'm trying to order drinks and whatnot. And so then, like, you know, it was all dark. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find my seat or I'm just asking random people like I know that I know the general vicinity but I can't see no no road numbers or nothing Damn, this joint is crooked as hell um I can't see no road numbers or nothing finally I find a lady who works there and she like she's looking out she tells me where to go she makes sure my seat is open and everything so I get to my seat chilling so I don't, I feel like I can't really tell tell y'all the jokes that, that Dave Chappelle actually said. You know, that's proprietary information, as I like to say. Like, there's a reason they didn't want you to record. But I will say, like, I really f Because he gonna tell you what's on his mind. He ain't gonna be sweet about it. Like, he gonna say what's up. And, like, he he's good at what he does. I will say that, like... I will say, like, man, funny as f just straight out of left field. This this man was talking about, um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of his show, he was kind of talking about gay and trans. But, like, he was kind of making it, he was making it funny. And, like, he had, like, towards the whole end half, he had a whole story relating to um, a friend he had made that was actually a fan of his that, that wanted to do comedy. He actually mentioned it in one of his old, um, one of his other uh, stand-ups within like one of the past few stand-ups. He, he mentioned that same friend, but but like he had a whole shebang on, on like trans and stuff like that. But like this weekend was like, yeah, like they have a pussy, but it's not. He was trying to say it's not like real pussy. He was like it's just <laughs> for for decoration, like. Like it was cosmetic pussy kind of thing. <laughs> he said it's beyond pussy, bro. Impossible pussy, bro. That came out of left field, bro. That shit had me dying, bro. Even when this man started, right? Some he was he started talking. He was just doing some, you know, regular stuff. He was like people call him a womanist. I mean, uh, not a feminist. People say he misogynist, like he hate women or whatever. He was like, I don't know where he got that from. And then some some lady in the front started heckling him like a little, like some like white lady. And he was like, he then of course you know he, he started fucking with her, and then he like ended up calling her a bitch. And then she was with him, and he was like, yeah, I'm sorry I called her a bitch. He's like, but you should try it. <laughs> it's liberating. I was like, God damn, <laughs> this is hilarious. So that that's two that, that's two things that was funny, and I mean it was it was a, a racket. And I I tell you this one other joke. He said, he, of course he of course he was still talking about trans, and he was talking about basically going off that whole misogynistic. He was like he beat up women or, or beat up trans and stuff like that, and he was like I didn't even know it was a woman. He was talking he made he was talking about a story where he's in the club. And uh, somebody, you know, obviously fans be talking to him, be like, "Oh, like I love, I love you." All this stuff. He just talks to her casually, and then like, uh, um, actually, I don't even know if it was supposed to be trans. 
it might have just been like you know some of them uh them lesbians that are are more masculine and so he so the, apparently that like they come up to him and it's like yo like like back up a little bit you talking to my girl whatever and he's like and like all right whatever i'm and chilling or whatever and he thinks that it's a dude or whatever <laughs> he said so he ball fist up and did like ready to fight and he's like the person tells him he's a woman and he's like all right whatever <laughs> I'm, I know I'm butchering the joke so bad right now, but long story short, bruh, he says, he's he's like, yeah, I, it don't matter. I ain't scared to fight. And he says he started jabbing her ass, bruh. This guy was making it sound like he was hitting a speed bag on her titties, bruh. Like, this, 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 this. bruh. I don't know why, bruh. When he was describing that story, bruh, I was just imagining, like, young and May. Like trying to check him in the club, but he just boxing her ass in the joint, yo. But well, I'm just rapping. Like y'all probably don't even don't even see it as funny, bro. But that shit was funny. Like I don't know. It's not. I'm not gonna lie. It's not necessarily like a Netflix special material, but it definitely was funny. As shit. I'm I'm kind of sick because at the end. He brought out the openers, and mind you, I missed all the openers, and I didn't even know. But he had he had um, earthquake, uh, this other dude, something wood, T wood or something like that. I don't know who that, was, but they had earthquake. I know earthquake is funny, dude. And then Donnell Rollins too, and I missed that too. I'm rich, bitch. I mean, I wish I would've came earlier. I actually could've, like, I was, I, I had like maybe like two hours to kill at home, but I was just like chilling, BSing as usual. I didn't know if there was any opener or none of that stuff, but I guess I'm a rookie on the town. But long story short, it was a good night. You know, nice solo night to myself, a little chill. Really just with the vibes. And of course, I wouldn't have had my fun out anyway. Cause I was like, I was already in the zone, but I think it was nice to just not have the phone. Like from the moment you get in, as soon as you get in, they lock them up and everything like that. It's like, it was, it was funny. Cause like the crowd is like, you know, a little bit older, thirties, forties. I mean, of course some late twenties, but they was like, even like when a DJ was playing before Chappelle, like you could tell they was actually like enjoying themselves, having fun without technology. I feel like people need to do that more often. Just have them just lock the phones or whatever. You know what I mean? So I low key might try and invest in some of them pouches and throw a function. You know what I mean? But uh, I really enjoy, you know, being in the moment and really just vibing. You know, it's good to, to have time to yourself. And also, like, you know, you feed off the energy of other people. Just here with, you know, all cerebral. It's all here. Just straight vibing. You know what I mean? Don't even got to say too much. Just vibing everybody. The energy is great. And, you know, when the energy is great, good things will happen. So, I have been feeling down. But I feel like I'm more at a melancholy I don't, know, I don't know if melancholy is a good word or a bad word. Or is it? But I'm like, I'm not down. I'm more in the middle now. You know what I mean? So, so I think it was good to uh, see that. We'll see when I wake up how I'm feeling. But that was my quick little recap. It ended up being 12 minutes. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe.